What's up guys? Today, we're gonna be shooting the Savage Model 4M Deluxe. This is chambered in 22 WMR or 22 mag is uh, usually what they're called. This was my grandfather's. When he passed, it was given to me. These firearms, these in particular, were made and manufactured between 1961 and 1965. My grandfather has a scope mounted on this one. Really old scope. Bush now. Not gonna say it's the best, but it kind of works. On a 22 long rifle I have, I took the scope off. Just because I like the regular iron sights on them. Closer look. As you can see, it does have some wear and age on the stock. Made out of real wood. Not synthetic. I usually use this for groundhogs, box, stuff like that. Compared to a 22 long rifle, 22 mags, shoot farther and harder than 22 long rifle. You can hunt small game and predators with the 22 long rifle, but with the 22 mag, you're gonna be able to shoot farther and have a better chance of uh, killing your animal. Not saying that 22 long rifles are completely useless. They just have their place. 22 mags are more often used for hunting rather than the 22 long rifle that is more used for target shooting as well. Um, you, can 20, you can target shoot with the 22 mag, but 22 long rifle because of how cheap the cartridge is um, and the ammo. Those are more commonly used. So, this is another thing I wanted to point out. The safety, usually it, on newer firearms, there's a red dot and covering it will show that it's safe. Red means fire. This one just says safe with an arrow pointing. So up means safe. Has a five round magazine. That I have uh, four in right now. Ammo I'm going to be shooting. Is this 30 grain VMAX Hornady 22 mag ammo. This stuff is like, I don't know, 10 or 15 years old. Out there. I have a water bottle. this in not too long ago we're gonna see how well all right how well it still shoots four in the mag one in the chamber good One hit it. Two hit it. Three hit it. After five rounds, Barrel's a little warm, but it isn't too bad. Let's put a couple more rounds in the magazine.
thing I've noticed with this firearm being, you know, over 50 years old, well, 60 years old at this point, the ammo likes to pop out rather than lay down. So you gotta be careful. So you do need to properly oil these. They will dry out up relatively quickly and sometimes you don't really know how many rounds you're putting through them you don't want to put too many rounds through them without doing that but sometimes it's hard to keep track if you're grabbing it to run outside and shoot something or whatever I'll have to do some more sighting in on this scope. That's the main reason I like shooting iron sights, is because, yeah, you can't shoot as far distances. You're less likely to be off if you put in a cabinet. You know, something could get bumped. The sight adjustments could get bumped. Now, yeah, they make it to where, theoretically, you can't change it, but I just prefer iron sights for that reason. Because you know you have a better chance of when you put it when you put the firearm up and you grab it the next time the sights will still be spot on so this is the savage model 4m deluxe 22 mag um, if you like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you like the video take care have a great day